Felicity, I'm so excited to, to be able to chat to you. You're obviously a person in your own right. Uh, you're a very opinionated person in your own right. We know that through social media. But I thought that talking and seeing politics and government through a minister, politician's spouse's eyes would give us an interesting uh, view and insight into how our politics works and or doesn't work. What is the most surprising thing that you have discovered about politics, government? Oh my gosh, Gloria, start with a big question. How long have you got? Um, surpri most surprising thing? Because there, there are almost so many things that I kind of wish I didn't know. You know, sometimes I think with politics, ignorance is bliss. Uh, the most surprising thing for me was when we first started off was how interested people would be in Johnny and not and the fact that well, that went way beyond just what he does in the political arena. It seems to be everything about him, his haircut, his everything. And that has been, I think, the biggest surprise and the biggest adjustment that we as a family have had to make, that it was just everything about him is because we're in the public domain. So we were very naive when we started and we didn't think that this you know, that would be, the scope would be so massive. So you're suddenly public property. Yes. And you, you very much talk about we, not just him, because, you know, you, you, yeah. he's the elected one. Did you have to make adjustments? Yeah, loads of adjustments. And I don't want to be that annoying wife that just sort of talks about her husband as if we are one person. Because I, I, don't, want to do, I don't want to demean or di dilute the hard work that he does. But because we're such a team, we've always been a team. We are like, we're joined at the hip. Um, you know, he's my best buddy and we do everything together. And I think that was, that's what's got us through this and, and all the sort of interest in us um, because we are a team, which is why it always makes me laugh when, when I put out a tweet and people are, oh, you've ruined your husband's career. Think of the children, blah, blah, blah. you know, the dramatics. And it's just like, well, do, why would you think that I would put anything out there that Johnny hasn't signed off on? You know, uh, he totally understands me and what I'm about and that actually people love seeing the, the human side. So this whole idea that I'm sort of trying to destroy his career. <laughs> so when your husband, Johnny Mercer, uh, was sacked by Liz Truss. Yes. You posted on social media. <laughs> I did. That Prime Minister Liz Truss was an imbecile. Yeah, but I wasn't wrong there, was I? Sort of tragically. It was awful. And you know what? I don't want to be a smug cow because I wouldn't have wished that episode on anyone, not on her, not on the members. I mean, it was humiliating for everyone. So I don't want to be smug about it, you know, and I've told you so. For me, it spoke to a really wider issue because it wasn't the fact that Johnny lost his job. That's politics. That's, that happens, you know, like, like the wind. That's fine. But it was the fact it spoke to the sort of the bigger issue that she wasn't going to listen to certain people on their expertise. She wasn't going to listen to Johnny on veterans or Rishi on the economy or any of the other good parliamentarians like Rob Halfon on early years. They all have their little snippets of, of speciality. And it was the fact that she wasn't going to listen to that. And it was the sort of slash and burn approach. And why needlessly upset 2.2 million veterans? And, you know, so I penned this, I penned this tweet and I said, what do you think? And he's just like, you know what? That's how you feel. That's how I feel. And that's how a lot of people I think today are going to feel. Um, you know, if, if that's what you want to send, send it. And, and you know, I, and of course, I'm slightly naive. You know, I don't think, oh, that's going to be on the news tomorrow. Oops. <laughs> um, but it is how it feels. And I think it's really, I think people have found it really interesting to see, oh, God, that is how a reshuffle feels. And not just a standard reshuffle, a reshuffle where you've tried to really carve something out for a huge cohort of people. Let's take you to a happier Please post do. on social media because this was just very funny and you are very funny so you you post a picture of your husband oh, yes. asleep my faith and you post so a funny story the prime minister who was then boris johnson politics have been moving quickly lately <laughs> so a funny story the prime minister rang tonight directly after an afternoon of fa cup football and england rugby and johnny was so well, I'll say drunk, yep. used a word beginning with P. Yep. He can't remember what he oh, said. That's brilliant. A Plymouth Argyle were playing Chelsea. I mean, it was a huge day of sport. And I think there was um, uh, rugby internationals as well. And that's the only time that Johnny really gets on it. You know, and he was having a <laughs> lovely day. This call was not scheduled. So he was having a, a great day. Um, and of course, then uh, Boris rang out of the blue. And I could hear Johnny took the, the call and tried to, to, to not slur his words. And, <laughs> And then a few hours later, he was like, oh, my God, Boris called me this afternoon. What on earth are we talking about? 
Um, and then obviously promptly passed out on the sofa and I just thought, this is, this is just too good. This is too good to miss. So I took the snap um, and thought, yeah, I've got to you know, tell him he's the chancellor tomorrow when he wakes up. Um, and it was just, it was, lo it was lovely. And I really enjoyed it and everyone really enjoyed it. And lots of MPs said that was, what a brilliant tweet. That was funny. Because also, you know, it, it wasn't, you know, no. I think, I think that the, the funny thing is, Claire, I think I start to not be able to see the wood from the trees because I know these people. For me, it's just, oh, that's a bit of a laugh. That will be funny. But of course, to the public, it's like, oh my gosh, but he's been talking to the prime minister. <laughs> and it seems like this huge deal. But it's, but it, it, when you're in the middle of it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like a huge deal. It's just, oh, he, Boris will find that funny. Um, and he'll appreciate that. Have you or your family ever felt threatened? in the job? So, it's a, it's, a, it's a good question. One day I opened a parcel in my kitchen, a parcel I wasn't expecting and, and didn't think anything of it, um, and pulled out uh, a nappy full of human feces. See, I, we used the word feces, yeah, learning. Um, <clears throat> and I thought, all right, okay. And it was addressed to me and it was addressed to my home address. You know, I wasn't in the constituency office, I was at home. And I thought, well, it's going to come to me anyway. Uh, you know, uh, it was a real shock. But, but when the shock had sort of, sort of you know, died down, I thought, well, actually, this is, the abuse is going to come to me anyway. You know, and a lot of the abuse, because I wasn't on social media, Jolly just wouldn't show me. You know, people would say yeah. things about me being a prostitute in Plymouth. Um, I've given that up, by the way. Um, Let's yeah. just, just before you move on from that, just because people might think, what? Right, OK, you, you, you might explain. just have, to, have yeah. to do a bit of explanation about oh, it was that. A running, it was a running joke um, that someone had called me a, 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 a prostitute on Plymouth Hoe. That's and I don't know where it came from. I've no idea. You know, I, I, it, I don't know. Um, but Johnny jumped on it in a very Trump-like style. I don't know what he was thinking, but he sort of jumped all over it and said, I'll give you one chance, honestly. Did you insinuate my wife? Because he got hold of the yeah. person that said it. Um, and it came across very Trump-like. And so obviously everyone had a really good giggle at that. So it kind of became more about the way Johnny attacked it rather than what was being said. So now it's this running joke and it's, and the, in the, it was in the, the comment section of the Plymouth Herald. So the Plymouth Herald were thrilled because they then went viral. And so, you know, we, it was a public service to Plymouth Herald. Um, <laughs> it's a horrible thing to be said about Yes, you. but you know, this is the crazy thing about this job. It, I just, it's just become standard. I mean, how sad is that? That's just normal. And, and when you got this package? So when I got this package, I just thought, okay, it's going to come to me anyway. So why not just not embrace it, because you know, that sounds weird, but why not just own it, I suppose is a way of saying it, take control, change the narrative to fit, to fit the fact that we are just a normal family doing a job and trying to be normal and, and just crack on like everybody else. And I thought if I, if I then go, go on social media, you know, Twitter especially, Twitter's my favorite platform, it's awesome. I mean, it's horrendously bad. The things that people think that they can say to other people, I just thought, well, do you know what? If I can own those jokes, turn them around, turn the abuse around, it becomes mine. You know, he, he's, he, you know, he's the best person I know, and I know him. All these people who say what they like, they don't know him. They've, they've, most of them never even met him. So I'm going to own it, and I'm going to turn it around. And, yeah, I found a new hobby. It's fab. I love it. You've, it's, it's very it's, entertaining well, it's to, almost, to, to read your, bad, your almost, social media. I feel bad because it's too easy sometimes. You know, I think a lot of these trolls, they don't really think it through, bless them. But it's hilarious. And if it can help one person and one person think, that's how she deals with it. And I'm getting the abuse, so I can deal with it like that. I can choose, you can choose how you deal with it. And if you want to make it funny, I think that's the best way to do it. And I've learned that from his military side. You know, it's not funny till it's not funny, Felicity, I get all the time. So we just have to laugh. And, and, and it's, it's really worked for us. And then even my girls can giggle at it now. And they've done some, you know, they do some great, um, you know, daddy trolling as well. We've just, it's become a thing, you know, just turn it around. Um, and I think that was the best way to deal with it. But it's also evolved organically. When I went on Twitter, it was more in response to the nappy of poo. As I thought, I don't want to hide. You know, I'm not going to hide from this anymore. It's going to find me anyway. But it sort of evolved into this hobby. Yeah. Did anyone find, did the police find the person who so, sent that? Oh, the police were brilliant and, and really supportive. And actually, they, whittled it, they did whittle it down and, and to some, a few key details. But I came to the conclusion that this woman, and I, it, it, it was a woman, 
is, is, is defecating in a nappy and sending it to someone. I reckon she's got a few problems of her own to deal with. And I'm thinking, do I really want to add to that? Life's obviously not going to be going too well, is it? So we left it. We left it alone. We left it alone. There's lots of spouses, male and female, yes. lots of MPs, spouses. Yes. yes. What advice would you give to any current spouse or somebody perhaps who's, whose wife or husband is standing for parliament next time and they're thinking, gosh, well, what's going to happen to me? What's, what's Felicity's words of advice you know, to get through? I've changed. I've changed how I feel about it. I would be completely honest with them. You know, I wouldn't just be all gung-ho like, yeah, it's going to be great. We need people like you. Crack on. Come on in. I'd have to be honest and say, how thick is your skin? You know, how... how how well will you cope with this? How well will your children cope with this? Where do they go to school? Do they go to school in the constituency? How do you feel about that? It's really sad, but those are the questions I'd, I'd ask. So it's not quite as yippy as it used to be, if, if that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Yeah. Final question. Is there a spouse's network in Parliament? Do you all get together and have drinks and support each other? There is, there is. And there's some really brilliant people get, trying their very best to get a group of people who live all over the country together. It's really hard. I think uh, a lot of the time they sort of group it around uh, things that are happening in Parliament, knowing that people are going to be around or maybe around a con party conference time. So there is, they've called it something brilliant like uh, WAPS. Wives, husbands and spouses or something. Waps, brilliant. Is there a WhatsApp group? That's what we all want to know. No. Well, if there is, I'm not on it. <laughs> so I don't know. No, not that I know of. They're probably like, I want to stay away from her. She's mental. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't think so. OK. I think it's... I think we all have enough with the mum's groups at school <laughs> telling us what the traffic's like at six in the morning. So I'm not sure if everyone wants to add to that. But, um, yeah, it, it, the support's there, which is great. But I think everyone and everyone has their own journeys through this. You know, it's we just have to. Well, we just there's no handbook. It's like being a parent. You just have to make up as you go along and hope for the best. Felicity, really wanted to chat to you. Oh, thank you for having me. You have me. been as brilliant as I knew you would be. Well, I promised I wouldn't come on TV yet. Here I am. <laughs> I was like, no, because I will come. I will come across as a complete loon. And I hope I haven't. You've I'll been, be interested to hear what everyone thinks. You have given us the most <laughs> unique perspective. Oh, Only you. a spouse can, can see politics thank through you. those eyes. Thank you. Well, I hope you've, it helps somebody. Thank you. You've been fascinating. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.